Yo, what's up? It's D Machine. I'm coming at you with my second vlog ever. Um, the first vlog, I kind of walked you guys through, you know, the, the setup that we have in our new place. But I've never really shown you guys uh, what, you know, what actually goes into the broadcast in terms of, you know, the, the software and the programs and how we actually manage to, uh, you know, create the broadcast. So I figured I'd show you guys that here today real quick. In a quick video, and I think it'll answer a lot of questions that we've been getting in terms of, like, how does that work? How does this work? Where did you find that? We get that all the time. Specifically, mostly, the add-on, which I'll talk about as well a little bit later on. So, in the very first screen on the laptop here, uh, that right-hand block is essentially where chat normally is, but at the moment is not. Um, then, of course, you have Discord. On top of that, you have the Twitch alerts to make sure that I do not forget to shout out any of the people who support us at GCD TV. Of course, you got the gameplay right there. This is a media player at the bottom for me to play all the epic music during the, the downtime. This is the OBS, of course. I use OBS Classic. Um, and then I have Twitter over here, but normally it's um, actually the, uh, the cam regions when we're actually live. So uh, first I'll start off with... OBS. So OBS, the different scenes that we have running are, you know, we have in-game, which of course is in-game. We have the camera region. Hi, it's me. Hi. And then we have Ben Ricky over there from the last tournament. Um, now the camera region is a little bit more intricate than you guys might necessarily just see. I mean, looking at the different sources of the camera region, uh, we have the transition I'll talk about a little bit later. We have Venruki, Venruki's pick, usually we just get the cam, the camera regions, which is all this is really for, Super T's sub, uh, th uh, lower third, all that good stuff, healing stat, lower third, D-Machine, lower third, if you don't know what a lower third is, it's that little name underneath our camera regions. Then we also have the donation alerts. I use uh, CLR browser alerts uh, instead of, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, using just a region of that alert. Then we also have... My camera branding, which essentially is our sponsors and stuff, and um, the scoreboard. The scoreboard is pretty cool. So as you guys can see, there is that uh, you know those little uh, names as well as the scores at the top. The scoreboard at the top of the screen, and the way that we get that to work in real time is um, we have someone that you guys are probably pretty familiar with at this point. His name is Elbereth, and uh, what Elbereth does is he saves. Um, so if you go see into the scoreboard, it, it's just literally inside of a folder. It's just a picture, and we make sure to have check for file changes checked. And so what that does is whoever changes that file that we use as a source, it'll change the picture in the scene. And we have Elbreth who actually goes through Google Drive. If you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but Google Drive down here to go ahead and um, you know update. Uh, that scoreboard in real time. So shout out to him for bringing that extra, you know, production value to GCD TV. Uh, so that's cameras. Then after that, we have interviews. Uh, usually, we only save the interviews for, you know, uh, yeah, uh, the finals of the entire season. Usually, is what these are for. Method. There's Chucky D. And uh, we have the intro promo as well. You guys have already seen this if you watched the last tournament. This is something that I just recently made. I'm kind of proud of it. It took me only an afternoon, but uh, still pretty cool. Uh, we got starting soon. This is basically, uh, you know, just the uh, uh, a video in the background with, uh, you know, some pictures, the sub goals, the CLR browser notifications. But also starting soon, this guy, uh, it's a countdown plugin. The way that that works is a program called... Snaz. If you want to learn more about Snaz, just Google it. But basically, it's a program. Oh, it's already running somewhere. It's right here. So basically, this program right here allows me to, if you see this, allows me to change the amount of time in which um, we're waiting. So say it's uh, the, we're about to stream in 10 minutes. I hit start at 10 minutes, and then boom, there it is. It essentially uh, just creates a text file in real time over and over and over again, and I basically just create a and I just add the text source, and there you have it. Very very cool. You can learn more about that by looking up Snaz. Um, so that's basically the entire starting soon. Uh, then we have the bracket. Oh, oops, I have my transition up. My bad. So here is the bracket. 
Bracket's pretty freaking cool. Uh, shout out to Trex for making the template of this bracket for us. I really like how the gold uh, 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 like you know, shows who won the series. I think it's, it adds a lot to the bracket. But uh, uh, we just have a video in the background, a global source video in the background. And um, Hannah, the girl over there that you can't quite see, um, <laughs> is uh, she, she changes the file. Just like Elbreth changes uh, the file for the scoreboard, she changes the picture uh, in Photoshop in real time of this and saves it to a folder in my computer. Now, because we're running on the same uh, router or in the same switch, essentially, she can uh, change the file through the home group, through the network. Because uh, it's just a local network, so that's how we do all the uh, graphics here at GCD TV in real time. We, we Hannah changes that while we're you know in game talking about the replay or whatever, and it's changed by the time we get to it. Same goes for let's see if the transition actually works. It did. Look at that, it worked. Uh, same goes for you know the versus graphics. She changes that in real time. So what I do is I create the uh, the upper and lower PNGs of these before the bracket before the tournament even begins. So I change those pictures and the names and the icons. Uh, it's basically a template that Trex created for us. Shout out to him once again for basically making GCD production the way it is today. And uh, yeah, and so that's basically how that works. Uh, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't look nearly as good if it wasn't for Trex, so shout out to him. Now, um, you may be thinking like, okay, so that's basically it. I mean, you have your intro videos, which are essentially just clicking on a new scene going to the video. That's essentially how I navigate to that. Uh, but I mean, there's a little bit more. We also have replays. Now, the way that replays work is that we utilize the replay buffer uh, part of OBS. So what that essentially does is it records, um, it records while encoding very, very tightly, um, a replay buffer. So at any given time, I can click a keybind and it will take the last 30 seconds of a replay and then uh, we can play it back. And the way that we do that is we utilize a program called Directory Monitor, which is right here. And essentially what you can do is uh, it, it takes uh, you know that 30 second replay, puts it in a folder. I have Directory Monitor basically telling it to move it to a new folder. And in that new folder is where I have my video playing that source that gets recreated every time I make that keybind. Now that sounds super complicated, but there is a guide out there that I'll link in the description below if you want to make your own replays in OBS as well. It's actually really easy to set up. Shout out to WIXK for helping me out figure this out. So that's really cool too. Um, so what else do we have that's going in the background? Um, I guess one thing that we're starting to do is we're starting to utilize this little doohickey right here. Uh, that doesn't really help you guys. Let's edit the script. So uh, there's a program out there that is called Auto Hotkey. What this essentially does is makes it so you can create an automated program, not even a program, but just an automated series of actions through Auto Hotkey and keybind it to a keybind. So the way that I did this, and there's a guide on this as well that you guys can self-educate yourself just like me, I'll link in the description below, um, is that essentially, so I wanted to create a lower third, or not a lower third, I wanted to create a transition between, you know, OBS and uh, whatever scene I'm going to. So I'm in camera right now and I wanna go to um, in the game, and here we go. We're gonna jump into the game. GCD Pro League, boom, and we're in game. Real cool, real you know, simple transition. Um, kind of reminds you of like other sporting events. Did to me anyway. But uh, basically, the way that it works is it's just a video file right here. Transition. It's a global video source, and the way that you can get this to play is if you double click it and hit OK, and then it plays. So what I have Auto Hockey doing is essentially doing just what I just did. So I'm having auto hotkey doing cl double clicking transition, hitting OK, and then waiting, and then when it gets right there, it goes to, like watch, it goes to the, to the whatever keybind or whatever scene that it's supposed to go to. So uh, I have uh, F1 bound to going to, you know, in game, and uh, F2 is cameras, so auto hotkey, it double clicks, it waits a few seconds, and then goes at the exact moment that I want it to, to give me that transition effect. So, a little thing right there, it's not 100% perfect. I mean, you guys have probably saw on the broadcast that a lot of times, for whatever reason, it might lag or never change the scene, and there's something contradicting it. I'm not really sure what, but that's, that's basically another program that we use in the background to try to add a little bit of uh, production value, value to the broadcast. 
Um, and I think that's it. Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. Discord, you know, to uh, talk to the, the casters. There's Healing Stat. I wonder if he's listening to me making this vlog. Hi, Healing Stat. What's up, dude? Um, and, oh, and I just recently started uh, utilizing um, Wireshark, which basically allows me to keep track of, I'm not, I'm not really sure if I should bring that up in front of you guys. Yeah, it shows IPs and stuff, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, but essentially, it just keeps track of, um, it ke keeps track of, like, any blimps in the internet, which is something that's really useful, especially when I have the internet problems and the internet luck that I do. Uh, I can record everything that occurs in the internet and then show it to the cable guy and be like, hey, this is what happened, trace it down. Uh, because a lot of times they come to me and they say, hey, we're not here when the problem's actually happening. I can't tell you what's wrong, so now I can show them the logs so they can determine what's wrong. Um, but that's essentially the GCD broadcast. I mean, this from my end anyway, because there's, of course, the admins, to Hannah, as well as Toxic and Elbreath and even Healing Stat, who are behind the scenes talking to all the players and getting everyone ready, as well as, you know, changing the different graphics and even updating Battlefy.com so you guys can uh, continue to watch how the bracket proceeds there as well. So there's probably, like, I'd say up to, at any given time, it could be up to eight people working on one broadcast, and, um... Almost all of them are volunteering. Uh, I pay Hannah in kisses, so she uh, she is a paid employee technically. But uh, that's essentially it. Uh, there's vlog number two. I know this one, this vlog might be a little bit dry, considering that the last vlog was kind of neat. But there is an update. We got a TV stand. We no longer are using a dresser, and there's a Peter Pan asleep. Hi, oh, Peter Pan. Hi, oh, Peter Pan. Good kitty. Bye, YouTubes. I'll see you later.